In the vast open world of Assassin's Creed Origins, the new combat system creates a lot of new ways to deal with your enemies. Making a ruckus can be very effective, but stealth has always been a favorite tool of the Assassins. So we talk to the developers about how you can take a sneakier approach to getting what you want. You know, stealth is part of the lifeblood of this series. What are some of the ways that players can really lean into that stealthy play style in Origins? So with the abilities, you can really start extending what you can do in stealth. You know, sometimes you might see a group of four guards having the ability to forward time. This will actually, you know, th those guards will get up and they'll do their daily business. At some point, maybe they'll go to sleep. The point is, this is an ability that allows you to change the setup. The stealth system itself is very different than previous ACs. Now it's really distance-based. That's an important thing because we wanted the player to be able to cat and mouse with the AI. So you don't get detected right away. They might see you, they might see a threat, but they might re not recognize the true threat that it is. So they need to come closer, they need to investigate. This allows you to start splitting groups up. Combined with, with sleep darts, with poison, uh, you can really manipulate the environment. From the level design, uh, already you can uh, really sneak into a lot of locations, you know. Uh, you, you can sneak into uh, forts, into camps that you are really, really, you know, uh, under a level. If you're, if you're detected, you'll be dead, but nothing is preventing you from uh, trying it and using the level design. We've worked very hard on the level design to make sure that there's constant opportunities to be able to stay in a stalking zone, to go up high. You know, being a predator in AC, that means you go up high. Or you can actually gain other abilities, so like sleep knives, poison, uh, taming animals. What happens once you tame an animal? Does it just kind of like come alongside with you and like bite anyone's face off? Exactly. Messes with you? <laughs> exactly. First, you need to be able to, to, to tame them, right? To tame it. So it's not just out of nowhere, you know, you're able to tame animals. You first need to put them asleep so that you can approach them without any risk and then tame them. You know, if you consider the bow as part of your stealth equipment, that's another way you can upgrade the damage of the bows, you can upgrade what they can do themselves. One of the skills that I was really enjoying during my playtime is the predator bow. Mm -hmm. Steering that arrow just gives it that extra little oomph, doesn't it? Yes, when you manage to master the bow, the arrow, it's awesome. The feeling of actually continuing to chase your target <laughs> using your arrow, is, is, is an awesome feeling, but it's quite hard. So uh, some might not like it, which is fine because we have uh, many other opportunities. I think one of my favorite ways to play stealthy is to create those distractions. You know, you set yep. a fire over here, Absolutely. everyone gets a little alarmed and like, oh, I'm just gonna go accomplish my objective over here. Oh, and I, I would even say a lot of people don't realize it, but you have a torch that you can take out. So you can toss it to create a distraction. So that's another tool, stealth tool that you have. I was also excited to see that there's a skill that allows Senu to sort of get into combat a little bit with you. Yes, absolutely. This is something that uh, we thought that was really cool actually and, and makes sense. So when you're, you know, uh, approaching a camp and you want to distract some, you know, to, uh, to sneak on the other side, well, just use Senu on, on, uh, on one guard. She will take uh, care of it. I would love that players who want to play stealth get to explore the system and find you know, really cool moments that we didn't think of ourselves. Uh, and I think there are many of those. It's coming out soon. Give us the date and what platforms we can play it on. Absolutely. So we launch on October 27th, very soon, uh, on Xbox One, Xbox One X, uh, PC, PS4, and PS4 Pro.